Hello everybody, it's Jason again here. I wanted to make a video of my garage sale car that I bought last Saturday. Today is Sunday, eight days after I bought it. This is a 1985 Buick LeSabre uh, Custom. It's not the limited model or the collector's edition or any of that stuff. It's got a uh, 307 Oldsmobile V8, and it's been garage kept. It's only got 60,000 original miles on it. And I stopped at the yard sale, really close to my house, and uh, bought this car. I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it, because you'd probably want to kill me if you knew. This was bought here in Bradenton, brand new, at Conley Buick. The only problem this car had when I got it that I thought was serious was these bumper fillers were missing right here. So I bought new ones on eBay and of course they're not the best fitting things in the world. I had to trim them a little bit to make them work. But it looks a lot better than just rusty old bumper support. So I had some, uh, oh and this deal right here needs to be fixed no big deal um, so I bought some uh, single stage paint had it put in a spray can and painted all the new bumper fillers and installed those full set front and back here's the interior The interior is practically like brand new. Just needs a little bit of cleaning on the carpet and the steering wheel is a little bit dirty. But um, the only thing that doesn't work on this car is the power seat because the gear is stripped. So I'm going to replace that. It's just a really nice car. It's got all the paperwork in the glove box. The AC will freeze you out. The key will annoy the piss out of you brand new Firestone tires on it. Oh, and the hood lift supports are bad, so that's my hood lift support. So here's the front bumper fillers, and they came out a lot nicer. They fit much, much better. It's three pieces. It's a center piece right there, and it overlaps to the right, or the left from the driver's seat, and the right from the driver's seat, and the paint even turned out pretty good, too. So. I cleaned up the engine a little bit. There was some grease and grime. And um, it's even got a fairly new battery. Well, let's start it up. As you can see, it fires right up and idles perfect. Got a big belt. Well, that's kind of to be expected, I guess. Probably uh, might even replace the belt on it. It's not that big of a deal. Show you the back seat. Got a nice umbrella in there. It's a non-smoker's car. Like I said, it was garage kept. Look at that. Just don't see cars with ashtrays in the armrest anymore. Turn the headlights on and see if they are all working. Yep, I replaced all the bulbs when I pulled the taillights out to do the bumper fillers. It didn't occur to me to make a video of doing that, but uh, it's a lot easier to take the rear bumper off, which I did. 
and you got to pop the tail lights out to get to the speed nuts that hold it on at the top. Hygiene's work. How about that? Oh, and I found a brand new NOS grill on eBay. Because the grill had one little slap busted out of it, like the guy hit a bird or something. And there it is, Conley Buick, raised in Florida. 19, it was bought November 8, 1985, I think. It might have been 84. But either way, it's the last year the rear wheel drive will save her. There's all the dash lights working. Turn the high beam off. Put the air on. The AC still has the R12 Freon in it. And it gets cold like instantly. Sorry my hands are dirty, I've been working today. Radio sounds okay. This is the Sunday Night Gold Rush. Oh, oldies, cool. Who wouldn't like that song? The little Buick lights above the dash there. It shines down the panel. It's just a really, really, really nice car. So I'm gonna finish a couple of detail items on it and probably put it on eBay so watch out for that have a good Sunday night